CanOpen Architect is a software application designed to allow quick and easy creation of object dictionaries. It can export documentation, electronic data sheets, and source code for CanOpen nodes. This video will demonstrate the groups and configurations functionality of CanOpen Architect Professional. The original intention behind electronic data sheets, or EDSs, is that they are supersets of functionality and that nodes will then implement some or all of it. The aim of groups and configurations is to make this approach easy to manage by allowing one EDS to be created that can be used for multiple nodes. Groups are a way of taking sections of the object dictionary and either including them or excluding them from source code and EDS exports. The program analogy would be conditional compilation. Configurations are a way of defining what is included in a specific export, for example which groups and settings will be used. Together, this provides for a lot of flexibility when creating superset EDSs. Suppose we have two nodes that implement I.O. devices. Type A only supports digital inputs. Type B supports everything in the EDS. Let's look at how that will work. The first step is to put the digital inputs into a group. A group is represented by a folder in the object dictionary. Entries can be moved into and out of groups by cutting and pasting or by dragging. The next step is to create a configuration for the subset. The new configuration appears in the configuration section of the EDS. The configuration setting shows a list of object dictionary sections and groups to include. We have unchecked the sections of the object dictionary that we do not want to include in this particular configuration. Now we'll create the configuration for type B. Type B includes everything in the EDS. Next we want to set the file information. Choose a configuration from the drop down list. Now we can enter a description. Now we can do the same for type B. Now we'll export the EDSs and compare their contents. During export, we are prompted to choose the configuration to export. First, we will export type A, then type B. For type A, we can see the description is what we entered. If you look at the device profile entries, only entry 6000, which is the digital inputs, have been included. For type B, we can see a different description, and if you look at the device profile entries, everything has been included. This is a simple example. And when doing this for a real node, if entries that are mapped into PDOs are placed into groups, then the corresponding PDOs must also be placed into groups. I hope this video has given you a good idea of how groups and configurations can be used to manage superset EDSs and reduce effort when creating multiple nodes that are subsets. Thank you for watching.